Now, talking about motion pictures, you know, they were created back in 1834. That's when mathematician William George Horner invented the daedalum, or wheel of the devil, also known as wheel of light. He named his moving picture device after Daedalus, who was a great craftsman from Greek mythology. It was William F. Lincoln in 1867 who named his Daedalum prototype the Zoetrope. All right, you see that? But why is a horse significant? Well, I'll tell you. Because in 1876, Edward Moybridge, who was a famous photographer, he was hired by businessman Leland Stanford, and he was hired to find out if there was a point in a horse's stride where horses had all their hooves off the ground. And it took a couple of years, but Moybridge finally delivered on June 19, 1878. And you can see in the second and third frame, the horse is completely off the ground. In 1879, they created a sequential photo projector that they called the Zoo Gyroscope. The images were on a round disc and it turned in front of shutters and gave the appearance of movement. Meanwhile, in Paris, France, noted physiologist Etienne Drew Mahé, I think that's how you say it, he was doing similar work. He fashioned a camera that could take 12 pictures a second of a moving object. The technique was called chronophotography and used a chronophotographic gun. In 1888, Thomas Edison commissioned William Kennedy Dixon to work on the advancement of motion pictures. In 1890, Dixon unveiled the kinetograph, a primitive motion picture camera. This was the first time a roll of film was used to create the images. In 1892, Edison and Dixon announced the invention of the kinetoscope, which was designed for films shot with the kinetograph. In 1894, Thomas Edison opened his first kinetograph parlors, and they were full of kinetoscope machines. Meanwhile, in 1895, in France, August and Louise Luminaire introduced the Cinematograph, a projector that could show 16 frames a second. It was a motion picture film camera, which moved the film continuously as it took the pictures. It was the first time a real film motion picture was presented to an audience. And that's how it all began, up to 1895, of course.